All right, I'm Nick. Today we are going to mount this Raymarine Element CPT 100 DVS transducer on a Predator PDL or an Old Town Big Water PDL. Now, a gentleman named Peter sent this to me. I'm not sure what this uh, epoxy or sorry, uh, RTV is on there. It was there. When he sent it to me, he actually had this piece installed backwards. It was forced all the way in like this. Uh, and he was having trouble mounting it. But we took the time, we switched this around how it is, how it should be. And then we created this mount for, which will just tighten down right here, like so, with this. Now this thing does come with a bunch of different hardware. Uh, you could use the hardware they provide. You could get a shorter bolt just so it looks cleaner. That's up to you guys, it'll work. I had this bolt laying around in the garage, so I just decided to use it. Um, nothing fancy or simple. We weren't able to scupper mount it because of the shape, not to mention if we scupper mounted it backwards, then this piece would just slide off and then your transducer would just be falling off and dangling around. That's kind of weird. Uh, we've done some various things for Ray, Ray Marine transducers in the past few months. And I will tell you they're the weirdest transducers that I've ever seen all of them. But anyways, this guy just slides in place like so. This piece, you got your bolt, slide it in there, just like that. And then you just tighten it down. It is smarter to install this piece before you install it on the kayak. We'll go outside in a minute to do it. Just get it semi-tight, get it so it's at 90 degrees. The easiest way to do it is just set it up on an edge like this get it oh see that's that's why we would not scupper mount it this way that's impossible because it can't slide into the kayak right um it'll go like that oh man that thing is so ridiculous but this is why i would never mount this transducer on my kayak personally uh not really a big fan of a lot of their products so once that's like that and it's level you'll just take this finish tightening it up so it can't spin and realistically you should be able to go pretty darn tight and not have to worry about breaking that plastic want to make sure it was still perfectly 90 degrees boom just like that now we will go outside it's been sprinkling so we decided to film the first part in the garage we'll film it you guys won't have any problem with it sliding out like that because once you install this piece to the front of the kayak, this piece will go like that and then up through the hole and it won't be able to slide forward because this piece will hit the kayak. Okay, makes sense? You guys will see it in a second. So let's go outside. So we're outside, we're kind of getting sprinkled on so we'll make this real quick. First thing we're gonna do is just remove this universal uh, mount. It's not needed, just fast forward through that real quick. All right, once you have the screws out for the universal mount, we'll just toss these up here real quick. Remember to take your time. Don't force anything or cross thread anything. So once you have that installed, you're gonna see it's still super close. It's actually just below it. You guys can probably see it on camera without any kind of issues. Obviously this wire will get pulled through there, tucked out of the way. I'm not a real big fan. Let me turn the camera. I'm not a real big fan of transducers like this. As you can see, it will slide forward a little bit, but it can't come off because it hits the kayak. There's really no good solution for this. Um, it's one of the reasons I prefer to use the Garmin products, but if you already have this, you can buy the mount, you can do it yourself, you can install it, you can make it work. Uh, you just need to be cautious when loading and unloading that you do not hit it. Uh, 
it is unique to say the least, right? Uh, but it will work. You won't have any problems. Your fish finder will function perfectly. You just need to be careful loading, unloading, landing, stuff like that. If you have any questions or you have a crazy transducer that you need help mounting, uh, leave me a comment, shoot me an email at nickandnavarkayfishing.com and we will figure out a solution somehow. Thanks for watching.